everybody. Uh, hope you can hear me. We've been doing a lot of talking today, so I'll try to speak loud. But yes, we did fill the gap with this brush cutter. It's an industrial brush cutter. We have three models of these. When we talk about a platform on a machine, we talk about the hydraulic platform, the amount of flow for the handles, so we can handle a standard flow machine. 70% of all the machines built today are standard flow. And the flow of the hydraulic oil that powers the work tool is what I'm talking about. So this tool behind me runs on about 18 to 22 gallons of flow and up to about 3,500 to 4,000 psi of pressure. We have two more models that moves up to a hydraulic range of 32 gallon and 4,000 and then 40 gallon and 4,000. That covers our, our frame to machine which is our standard and our high flow line. All right, three models. The weight of this tool is about 2,150 pounds right in that ballpark. But some of the features, compared to the, some of our features are this. We have a 900 pound flywheel. This is sandwiched, the blade is sandwiched in between these two plates. About 900 pounds right there. The hockey puck, the hockey puck design is in this blade so it can swing. So if it does hit a rock, a curb, a big tree, it's going to fold back and then it'll centrifugal force to bring it back out to continue the cutting as it goes through. These are a very hardened blade, but they're also reversible. So once they got worn, there's a, a plate on the top of the mower that allows you to remove it, to remove the bolt, to get the puck off, change the blade over, and put it all back together, re it. It's always recommended they check the torque once a week what we're looking at, so we wanted to make it accessible to do that because all of us are a creature of habit. If it's not there, you're not going to work very hard to get it fixed, but we made, we try to make everything an accident. Along with this 900 pound flywheel, we built a huge rugged frame designed by all cat engineers. We've got a push block on top of solid that allows when you do cut up that eight inch tree, it gives you something pretty robust move the machine over and get it down on the ground. Now with that, a lot of times when you shut down the flow on a hydromechanical tool, you'll hear a large whine because that flywheel is still turning and it's creating that orbital motor into what we call a pump and starts gravitating and you'll hear this large squeal. Caterpillar engineers design a system, a way to keep oil dependently onto that motor so you'll never hear that oil. There. You'll hear it across the competition line. We also offer, with all our hydromechanical tools, as well as this, an extended protection plan. So the customer is protected up to three years of warranty and service on that portion. Amy mentioned a little bit earlier our other brush cutters we have prior to this. We filled this gap. So about five years ago, Caterpillar got really serious into the land management business. You know, as you knew in the press release last year, we introduced the D3 Dozer. Well, we're, that was the gap filler between our skid steers moving up to a dedicated machine. Now we need to go a little bit further with our brush cutters, and we went into this extreme duty brush cutter. With that, you, you take up areas of application to the right of ways, railroads, power lines, stuff that has to be maintained quickly. <coughs> with this heavy large flywheel and the velocity that it runs, I think around 2,000 or 20,000 hip feet RPM, that allows a customer in his machine to move pretty rapidly down through the three to four foot of grass, brush, or get a drop down. Anything else, Amy? Yes, yeah, so we briefly mentioned it, that this can do up to eight inch trees. So you can also just take down trees. If you're in an open area and you just need to get them down, it's not going to mulch them like your mulcher, but if you just need to take them down and basically cut them up, you can do that with the brush cutter. So it's very versatile in that space. You can do the right-of-ways, you can do the thicket and the brush, but you can also step up and do your trees as 